Hi guys, David Fine here from Keys Moz. Welcome to Wacky Worms. We have got one of my favorite childhood butterflies that we're gonna to cover today, Total Wacky Worm. It's the Ruddy Daggerwing. It's a beautiful butterfly, common here in South Florida. It's got an incredible life cycle. We're gonna show you and teach you all about it here in a minute. But guys, um, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That really helps out our channel and it gets you uh, notified every time we put out a video like this so that you don't miss any of the Keys Mods Wacky Worm videos as they come out. Guys, uh, let's stay tuned. Let's check out the Ruddy Dagger one. Stay tuned. The ruddy daggerwing butterfly is arguably one of South Florida's most common butterflies, but uh, they're actually very seldom seen. And the reason being is because they live way up in the canopy. That's right, it's a canopy species. They will come down to flowers, but we'll talk more about their habits here in a few minutes. Wingspan is two and a half to three and a half inches long. The dorsal side's got this really deep orange red coloration, uh, i.e. ruddy dagger wing and the, the wings are oddly shaped. It's very cool. The, the hooked forewings and the hind wing have those long uh, inch and a half long tails where they get their name from. Uh, they've got black stripes down through the middle of the, of the wings. The undersides of the wings, the ventral side is a great leaf mimic. They're brown, mottled brown coloration. Sexes are similar. Uh, males might be a little bit more bright orange than females. Females tend to be a little bit more brownish, uh, but the undersides of the females have a really pretty iridescent lavender purplish coloration, especially when they're fresh, and we'll show you some pictures of that in a few minutes. The ruddy daggerwing butterfly only lives in southernmost Florida. I believe they come into Texas from time to time, uh, but they are common down here in South Florida and in the Caribbean and Central and South America. They stay very closely associated with their larval host plant, the strangler fig. Uh, it's Ficus aurea. The eggs of the ruddy daggerwing are very tiny and they're bright, bright red, ruby red, laid on the new growth and the tips of the leaves uh, of their host plant, which is the strangler fig, Ficus aurea, but they'll also use shortleaf fig, which is Ficus citrifolia. Caterpillars will emerge and they're brown, uh, brown caterpillars with these big black scoli off, coming off the head capsule and a, and a row of these black spines that come up off the dorsal uh, of the ca caterpillar. Very cool caterpillar. When they get to final instar, later instars, this caterpillar turns into a very colorful, gaudy, showy caterpillar. It's one of my favorite caterpillars of, of any butterfly or moth that I've seen down here in South Florida. Young caterpillars will form a frass chain on the tip of the leaves, and that, that's right, they'll actually grab little tiny pellets of their frass and kind of web them together with some silk and actually extend uh, this chain off of the midrib of the leaf, and they'll actually rest on that to avoid predation by ants. Uh, that might, you know, the ants won't crawl up on the frass to go get the caterpillar, I guess. Uh, but as the larvae get larger, they will rest in the middle of the leaves. Now. Ruddy daggerwing caterpillars, one of the wackiest worms around. Uh, caterpillars are red and green, and they've got these three triangles, these yellow triangles on the dorsal um, side of the caterpillar. The head capsule is reddish with these black stripes, and they've got these huge, long black scoli that come off, like look like an Indian headdress or something like that. Uh, and they have these very intimidating looking black spines, but they're not actually spines, they're, they're just tubercles that come off of the flesh of the caterpillar. Uh, they, they don't harm you at all, but they sure look harmful. Great bug, uh, very distinct. You will not confuse the ruddy daggerwing caterpillar with any other caterpillar around, promise you that. When they're prepupal, they will turn into like a, kind of like a, a peach colored uh, caterpillar and they will go down and pupate on the undersides of the leaves or on a stem and pupa are green and the pupa itself has got some really cool wacky little black uh, appendages that come off as well 
and they'll hang down there underneath the, the mid rib of this leaf until they're ready to emerge. The ruddy daggerwing is actually a very difficult bug to raise in captivity. They do not like cuttings. Uh, as soon as you cut the leaves or the stems of a strangler fig and you try to raise them on cuttings, the caterpillars will eat it for half a day or so and then they just stop eating it. So you have to keep consistently getting brand new cuttings of the strangler fig if you're gonna raise them on cuttings. They much prefer the live growth. And if you raise them on cuttings, they'll come out uh, very stunted uh, in their size as well. The adult ruddy daggerwing is absolutely one of my favorite butterflies. It is a canopy species, and if you go into an area in South Florida with a lot of strangler figs and you just look up into the air, you'll see uh, the ruddy daggerwings doing their little territorial dances, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet up in the canopies of these strangler fig trees. They will come down for flowers. Uh, they like certain alkaline-based flowers, white alkaline-based flowers. Uh, they love. Biden's Alba, uh, I've seen them on Cordia Glabrosa quite a bit. You see them on mud uh, from time to time when the right salts are present. Uh, and they'll come to fruit, they'll come to the fallen figs that, that drop down, the little fruits that drop down, I've seen them uh, taking juices from those figs. A cool thing about the ruddy daggerwing is they're so territorial that one of the easiest ways to get them to come down out of the canopy is you actually take uh, something small and red and just throw it up into the air and the ruddy daggerwing males will chase it down all the way to the ground and, in a territory. They're, they're going to chase away any competition that they might have. <laughs> but guys, ruddy daggerwing, super cool bug, one of my personal favorites. But that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot more videos just like this one coming your way shortly. We've got a great website. It's www.keysmaws.com. If you go there, you'll see all 593 species of moths that we've documented in the Florida Keys, including another 100 species of butterflies. And there's a lot of bugs that live down here in South Florida, a lot of tropical beauties like the ruddy daggling. But guys, uh, check you out next time. Hope to see you out in the field. Until then, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.